Well, Michael Phelps has made headlines in the last few weeks after a snapshot surfaced of him smoking pot. It cost Phelps an endorsement from Kellogg's, but Jim Albrecht asks, is America being too harsh? Hi, everybody. After a week of America passing judgment on whether Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps is a stoner, a bad role model, an endorsement risk, or just plain stupid, I'd like to take a look at the real issue here. Relax, it's just oregano. But I wanted to get your attention, and I know half of you just went, Albrecht's got marijuana on TV, has he lost his mind? No, I haven't, but every time the ganja finds its way on the national stage, a whole lot of people seem to lose their minds. Marijuana has always created a buzz for users and disapprovers alike, but between the spectrums of evil and harmless is the stone-cold reality that people have been lighting up for half a century, against the law or not. Now, do I want my kids smoking it? No. Did I when I was young? Uh, does Michael Phelps have really long arms? Marijuana is America's two-faced issue. Those who don't condemn it are lumped into a Cheech and Chong skit. Those who do get the booze and prescription drug label treatment. When Phelps did his belly flop in bong water, he just reminded us all that we're high on something if we think this issue is disappearing. Well, and we know that Michael Phelps won't be forgetting it anytime soon. Thank you, Jim.